What's going on YouTube, GSNOR right here, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 14.4, the beta or the release candidate, but also the release one when it comes, with the check rain. So yeah, as you probably know, for the moment 14.3 is currently the latest version available, however Apple did release a couple of days ago iOS 14.4 release candidate, which usually the release candidate is the last version of a beta before it goes for the public. So as Macworld has detailed in here, it comes with many changes and if you want to read the entire log definitely check their article out. However iOS 14.4 can also be jailbroken already out of the box with the check rain. Now you probably know check rain jailbreak doesn't support the latest devices so no A12, A13 or A14. However if you have an iPhone 10 or lower you will be able to jailbreak iOS 14.4. So in order to do that all you have to do is to download it for macOS or for Linux, there is no Windows version available, and connect your device. Now you can either use the user interface that it has, which is pretty easy to use, but what people don't know is that you can actually use CheckRain from the terminal as well. All you have to do is to start the application from the terminal. I'm going to do that in this video just for demonstration purposes, but if you want to use the normal version, you just connect your device, press start, press next, and of course your device will be put in the recovery mode and you follow the instructions on the screen. I have many videos on that. But if you want to use it in terminal for some reason, you can do it like this. So you can do this on both Linux and Mac OS and all you have to do is to cd into the folder where you have check rain, in my case it would be cd uh, applications and then check rain and then contents Mac OS. Here we go and then you have to start with dot slash the check rain application and as you can see it does have a different UI. I think it uses n curses and everything here even though you're on the uh, terminal can be clicked. So if you use your mouse to click on the options it would actually go to options. So you can use your keyboard in here to navigate through the menus but you can also use the mouse. However I found out that the mouse sometimes does not respond while the keyboard always works. So in this case, for the iOS 14.4, you would want to check in here allow untested iOS. On the terminal, it would have to be this little X in here, but if you're using the normal user interface, you press options and then allow untested iOS should be checked. I would also check the verbose boot to see if anything goes wrong. Same thing in here, verbose boot. And back. And at this point, with your device connected, the demo device has 14.3, but it's basically the same thing. You press start and that would be it. And as you can see, you would get this pop-up in here, same pop-up you would get if you use the normal check rain. You press next and the device would enter in recovery mode, which as you probably know is the screen where you get the uh, laptop logo and the power cable. Now the interface tells us that we have to put the device in DFU mode. To do that, you have to use your key combination, which is different from device to device. So so follow the instructions on the screen after you press start. So keep pressing the buttons until the device is detected and once it's detected as you can see here device entered DFU mode, you can see now it's booting and the jailbreak is almost done. Your device will show the check rain logo and then it will boot in verbose boot which of course will take a few seconds. So I'm gonna be right back on the device and continue the jailbreak procedure. So as you can see I'm now on the device, the check rain application is already available here. If you don't have Cydia already installed, you would have to press here and of course you have to press install Cydia. In my case it says reinstall because I already have it installed. So after you do that you will be able to start Cydia normally and you may have a couple of updates if it's the first time you jailbreak so let's see. But other than that you should be good to go. So yeah we do have a couple of upgrades. I'm gonna do all of them. So as you can see the jailbreak itself works fine. Now on 14.4 it may not work on all devices. It may be a little bit buggy. There may be problems with the A11 devices because as you probably know if you have the A11 devices you have to turn on an option called skip BPR check on the uh, A11. So that's basically the iPhone 10, the iPhone 8, 8 plus. And on those devices, you will not be able to put a passcode on, at least not for now. But other than that, everything should be okay. So let's try to install something. I'm going to install Lotus, which is a theme. And I'm going to press this in here and install. This should install Lotus, but at the same time, it should also install Snowboard, which is the theming platform. So this way you can test if the jailbreak works fine because this requires you know code injection it requires you know a theming platform to work and so on so if this works the jailbreak works fine now there may be some tweaks that do not work out of the box with 14.4 though I highly doubt it because on the check rain 
not much changes, but there might be changes on the iOS side. So I'm going to restore the springboard and be right back. So you can see that the theming platform does work because we got that effect. You get it when you first install it. And then if you navigate here all the way down, we should have snowboard. Yes, we do. It's already enabled. We're going to enable the Lotus theme and the mask, and I'm going to apply the changes. So that's basically it. And as you can see, beautiful. The theme works fine on iOS 14. This is an iPad mini 4, but it looks pretty good. So yeah, thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.